Okay, so I bought the 2020 base variant of MacBook Air M1 instead of going for the latest M2 Air or MacBook Pro which I could have bought at roughly the same price for the same configuration given M2 has a much better processor and great design. And also at the end of this video, I will share how you can get the best possible discounts on Macs or Apple products in general. And yes, you can get these machines at 30, 40 or even 50% cheaper than the original price. Okay, so let's begin with a quick unboxing first. I've unboxed it already. Cheating karta hai tu. But here is a quick look. It feels great to unbox any Apple product, especially their Mac lineup. You get the laptop, a charger, a manual, and that's it. Oh, and yeah, the Apple stickers as well. Cool nira. Apple stickers. Which I don't know what is the use of these. Free marketing. Apple things. And it was a fairly easy task to set this thing up. And since it has been almost three years, since the M1 Max were launched, now almost all the apps are compatible with the Apple Silicon or the M1 or M2 chips to be precise. So I have used this device for almost a week now and I must say the overall build quality and the overall performance that you get with it is much better than any other Windows laptop in the same price that I got this machine for. Especially the battery life. It lasts about one and a half to two days, which in my use case is pretty awesome. This design is almost three years old and it still feels premium. The screen is great, the speakers are loud with great audio quality, microphone is great as well and its trackpad is simply amazing. I bought this machine for video editing and for some coding here and there, college purposes. I have had no issues with the device for many of my use cases but not all of them. While the design choice might be subjective and may vary from person to person, I don't think that the ports you get follow the same principle as well. You need to buy a separate USB adapter for your USB-C port and some extra add-on purchases as well. Well, I talked to some of my friends and they suggested to buy a screen guard and a keyboard cover as well because even some small things like food can cause damage to your already eaten Apple product. But otherwise, I like this machine overall. And I even like this wedge-shaped design which Apple does not give anymore in their new M2 lineup. Now coming to one of your most important questions regarding this machine, why M1 2020 variant in 2023? And that to the base variant. So when Apple launched their M1 MacBooks back in 2020 and made the transition from Intel to Apple Silicon, it created a huge advantage on Apple's side. On paper, we saw a lot of numbers that marked the huge difference that the M1 chips created. And while this is a personal choice regarding the design and form factor, the only significant difference that we may notice in the M2 Air is its new form factor. MagSafe and the 1080p camera with slight improvements here and there. Also, I saw a lot of posts and videos about a lot of people complaining about the slow SSD speeds in the new M2 Air and some other issues such as that of overheating and thus there is not much of a difference overall in my opinion and even if you can get the base variant of M2 Air for roughly the same price as you can get the M1 Air which we'll talk about in just a minute why should you not go for the best value for your money also I went for the 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD which is the base variant I could have gone for the 16 GB version but the base variant have better resale value and also the upgraded version takes quite some time to arrive. Now, if you're currently in college or you are joining one sooner, yes, this can be a great machine for your coming four years in college. This will be able to easily handle most of the tasks you throw at it, assuming that you are not putting some intense workloads such as multi-layer 4K projects or really heavy 3D designs. This can be great if you are buying this for coding or content consumption or any internship or freelance work that you wish to do ahead and some video editing as well. And since I try 1080p video editing at 25 fps with multiple layers titles transitions and some color correction here and there it handles that work without any issue and it can also handle you browsing the web with multiple chrome tabs open or editing some documents spreadsheets presentations very easily it can be a great value for money purchase okay so now let's come to the part that you have been most waiting for the discounts. If you plan to buy it offline from any Apple retailer such as Accord or Imagine, you can get approximately 12 to 15% discounts. I got 15% on this one. You can also buy this on student discounts of about 3% extra in stores. There are also some other discounts such as GST billing for businesses and also trade in exchange where you can exchange your old laptop from the store itself. And Apple also gives student discount on their official website. It gives about 18% discount for students. So you can check that out as well. You can also get great deals if you sell your old device on online marketplaces. Well, overall, this device is a great machine. If you're not throwing some really intense tasks on it, and well, the new M2 MacBook Air with 15 inches display has also arrived, 
but I don't think that it fixes all the issues which come with the 13 inch version. Also consider the Pro variant if you know that you will be throwing some intense workload and your work includes high resource demanding tasks. It is better to push your budget now than to regret later on your decision. If you want a setup video as well, then let me know down in the comments below and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button as well. And let's meet again in the next video. Radhe Radhe.